Oh my god. Holy crap. So mainstream media is, I guess, tired of Brie Larson's attitude. Holy crap. And, and by, by mainstream, I mean Breitbart, they're pretty, they're, they're, they're still, they're, they're kind of like the Huffington Post on the other side. I, I don't, I don't take them too seriously, but I mean, they're still mainstream media. Enough people like really, really consider these guys super legit. They're tired of her attitude. Also, hello everyone. I am MechaRandom42, your favorite YouTube harpy. There's, uh, every day, every day, like, you know, I, I was all set to sit down and talk about Luke Skywalker or any of this stuff, even though I've already made a video on that back when Star Wars Celebration happened. But no, this, this just popped right into my inbox. Oh my god. From Breitbart. All right. <laughs> the unbearable ingratitude of Bar Marvel's Brie Larson. <gasps> Oh, this is, this is, uh, this is too fun. This is too fun. <laughs> the unbelievably dishonest and ungrateful star of Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, is running around pretending to be the Rosa Parks of action heroines. Oh, Lord. I, I almost read that as heroes. I, I, you know what? Fine. Screw it. Action heroes. We're going to say it. Action heroes. We're not going to gender specify them. Seriously, you could be a hero and be a woman. You don't have to be a heroine. Ah, oh, Lord. <laughs> you know, when Whoopi Goldberg first started winning acting awards in the 80s for The Color Purple, she recognized she was standing on someone else's shoulders, on the shoulders of Hattie McDaniel, the first black person to win an Academy Award, Best Supporting Actress in 1940. Finally, in 1991, a half a century later, Whoopi would become only the second black woman to win an Oscar. When, Del when Denzel Washington finally won Best Actor Oscar in 2002, he opened his acceptance speech by saluting the man he had been chasing for 40 years, the great Sidney Poitier, the first black man to ever win Best Actor in 1964. 38 le years later, Denzel was second. See, this, this, is, this is what this reminds me of. We went through all the tokenism, like, way back. I, I think we went the tokenism way back, didn't we? We're kind of past that. God, I hope we're past that. I hope, I hope like in the 2000s when we started getting first this and first that in, in all this time, it kind of stopped being a huge issue. Seriously, equality. Equality, not tokenism. Equality, good. Tokenism, stupid, right? <gasps> I need to, I need to have like some sort of shirt with that. I need to start making merch. One of these days I will have merch. Holy crap. Nevertheless, they still saluted those who came first, show their proper respect, express gratitude, and acknowledge their struggle and accomplishment. Compare, to the, compare that to Brie Larson's comments earlier this month at something called the Women in the World Conference, which sounds like a barrel of laughs. Oh, here we go, here we go. I, I think I missed this one. I, oh, this might have been the one where she, Okay, I might have actually seen this interview. Yeah, I might have actually seen this interview. I'm very grateful to have broken this glass ceiling, shut up, of normalizing the concept that women can also make a billion dollars. Um, no, we, we've had that. Oprah? Oprah much? I mean, Oprah? I don't know why that was so hard to comprehend in the first place, she said. Oh, it wasn't. Only stupid people think that. Only really, really stupid people think that. Or very young, naive. You know, you know 30-year-olds going on 14. Those type of people tend to think that. It's just like, we're human, whatever. If people need this to be another reminder this decade that minority groups can be can open movies and make a billion dollars, then great, I'm here, I did it. We don't, we, but we don't, but we don't. <laughs> yes, I did it, I did it, I. No, princess, you didn't. <laughs> yes, I love that. <laughs> In fact, you didn't come close to doing it. Believe it or not, before you, plenty of women were normalizing the idea of a woman making a billion box office dollars of a woman being the foundation of an action franchise, of a woman as an action hero. You're not only the first cupcake. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. I love this person. Who wrote this? John Nolte. You're, I like your brain. I like the way you think. You're not only the first cupcake. You not only didn't break the glass ceiling, your old hat. You know, let's start with the fact that Felicity Jones is the first woman to anchor a standalone billion dollar action movie with 2016's Rogue One. Oh, and before Brie, there's Jennifer Lawrence in The Hunger Games, a franchise that grossed nearly $3 billion. Before Brie, there was a little movie called Wonder Woman that grossed $821 million. Long before Brie, a whole 17 years before Brie, Mila Jovovich anchored Resident Evil franchise and grossed over a billion dollars. A full 16 years before Brie, Kate Beckinsale launched the Underworld franchise. Anna jo Angelina Jolie in Tomb Raider, Michelle Yeoh. And where does this joyless harpy get off? Hey, she's not worthy of, of the name harpy. 
She's not worthy of the name Harpy. Only true, legit people who can actually rant and actually terrify somebody and actually intimidate people. At least enough to enough to want to be silenced, right? Enough to get the people out there to, to send to send their attack dogs to shut you up, to send their, their their little chatterers. That's a real job, by the way. It's called chatterer, where where they send people out to social media to basically make posts. Um, you know, some certain blue haired land whales might be professional chatterers. Can't confirm or deny that, but there are people who do sit there on message boards, stalk the Captain Marvel hashtags, stalk the Brie Larson hashtags, stalk Star Trek Discovery hashtags. They, they exist. They really, really exist. So, yeah, she, she's not worthy of the word harpy. Yeah. <laughs> Where does this joyless harpy not get off recognizing Sigourney Weaver and the Alien franchise? She's probably never seen it. Fun fact, Captain Marvel has actually never even heard of Captain Marvel, like, before. She had never, no idea who it was when they're like, oh, hey, what, what about you being in talks to be Captain Marvel? Who's he? Like, a woman version of Captain Marvel? Who's that guy? She didn't know who it was. She'd never heard of the character. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna edit this back. I'm gonna go pull out that footage. I will be right back. You won't see a thing. We're back. It's from the Brie Larson Funniest Moments as Captain Marvel. I'm going to link th this in the description. This is a great video if you want to just laugh at some of her cringe. Here, let, let, let's take a listen to this. This is kind of entertaining, you know, since, I, since they were calling her out on her lies, you know, how she said, yes, I read all the comics as a kid. I love, I love Captain Marvel. Oh. I'm down to play Chris Evans. <laughs> Oh wait, no, Chris Evans is Captain America. Who's Captain Marvel? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Great, but people want me to play this. Yeah. Okay, good to know. I'm, I guess I gotta start reading the comic book. Says it looks She's never heard of it. She never actually heard of, of Captain Marvel. That's kind of hilarious. And I love, I love that they just finally had called her on it. It's, it's just so wonderful. So she, she's never even heard of it. You give me a hug, and then you tackled me to the ground. I want you to play Captain Marvel when uh, to play? Isn't that a boy? Uh, it's it's not a the boy. First female led. Uh, the Marvel first movie. female. Yeah, I mean, so would, would I be playing a man? No, a woman. <laughs> I'm playing a man. Shazam! I love that. This is interesting. I'm trying to move myself out of the way. I know. Are you it, kidding it, me? That sounds like, like an. Yeah, it, it's just crazy. Like she, she doesn't even know what the crap she she's like talking about there. She's she's never even heard of the character. So when she says, "Yes, I'm a huge fan of the comics," a total flat out liar, right? So so I I love that they're actually somebody's actually calling her on her bullshit, right? <laughs> I love that. I love that. So she she doesn't even know the character that she's talking about. So and, and I love I love in this article they did actually call her out for being a liar. It's, it's so, yeah, dishonest and ungrateful. Yeah, she, she's a little dishonest. She is a little dishonest because she has says, oh, yeah, I love that character. I've totally, I've totally heard of Captain Marvel. I read all the comic books. We were under the impression that because she was grilled and and questioned and quizzed from, like, the fan clubs, I, I believe, I, I believe it was in an interview. Correct me if I'm wrong on this. You guys probably remember as well. Uh, where she was talking about, oh yes, the Brazilian fan clubs quizzed me on things, and and yeah, I, I so so it was kind of one of those things where she was like leading people to believe that she had read all of the Captain Marvel comics as a kid. She never heard of the character, so just another another one of those weird little inconsistencies. Just one of those weird little things that kind of is off putting. <sighs> Which brings me to the mighty Pam Greer, the godmother of all action heroes, an iconic legend, and the Neil Armstrong of the genre. Unfortunately, this is not the first time Marvel's disrespected the past. Remember when Black Panther tried to pull the exact same crap? Yes, yeah, that's true. Black Panther is the first black superhero movie. Yeah, sorry, no, Meteor Man, Blank Man, Spawn, Steel, Blade, Catwoman, Hancock, Nita Gone. <laughs> Black Panther is the first black, black superhero movie to be written and directed by a black man. Uh, no. The mighty Robert Townsend wrote and directed Meteor Man 26 freaking years ago. See, I, I love this. I love this. This is just more of the same little stupid propaganda. And, and a lot of it is the media taking it and, and, and running with this narrative and nobody correcting them. Because a lot of these sort of access media journalism, yeah, journalism sites will go through and they will just kind of run with the narrative. You have these 20-year-old people writing their crap. They're, they're out there so quickly. They don't proofread anything. Look at what happened 
recently, like with Kotaku and the Smash Brothers controversy, if you've, you've heard that, if you have no idea what's going on, they basically ran with old news that wasn't even news from about a year ago when they introduced the Smash Brothers character, uh, they, well, they, they introduced the Persona character into Smash Brothers for from Nintendo Switch. Completely different video topic. Didn't have time to make a video on it, but yeah, this is another thing where, where the news just kind of runs with the story. And then nobody corrects them. Uh, the the actors don't ever, they're, they're not humble. They're not respectful. And I think that's the main point of this, is that she's not humble enough and respectful enough to say, actually, no, I'm not the first. But, you know, and, and th th that's perfect. She is not grateful for anything. <laughs> So he goes on to say, I get that everyone wants to be Neil Armstrong. I do, but I also get the politics behind all of this. This lie that convinces the woeful uninformed that America is so racist and sexist. The, these firsts are only happening now. But I gotta say, this is a lousy thing to do to the true pioneers, to those who actually took the risks to blaze new path. In the vernacular of the woke, it's a lousy thing to do to these women and people of color. Oh, it's exactly true. It's exactly true. Brie Larson and Black Panther were not the first or the second or the third or the fourth or the fifth or even the sixth. Robert Townsend was a true trailblazer and he deserves some goddamn respect and so do Pam, Pam Greer and Sigourney Weaver and everybody who came before. Not only that, she's not even humble and respectful to the other cast and that's why everybody are so disrespectful to her. Just look at the body language reading video where she's there trying to dominate everything. She's trying to say, no, 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 I'm the best. I am here to fix everything. I'm here to save the world, to make everybody not racist. This is the same problem with the NPC sort of demographics on Twitter, where they're just out there like, oh no, I have to do something, I have to do something. Sit your ass down, you ain't gotta do shit. The world isn't quite as bad until we start letting people who are just kind of, kind of too stupid to, to really do anything. On, on social media, on Twitter, because then those are the dangerous people. Those are the people out there you throwing around the words deplatforming. It's like, no, 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 you, you're the problem. You're censoring people. You're censoring opinions, right? And th th this is not the thing to do. This is not the way to go. You can't censor opinions. You can try and educate. You can try and ask questions. A lot of people are going to be a lot more open if you ask them a question about something. Then if you just blindly preach at them or present, well, here's a couple of different examples. What What is the better option here? What would you do? What What do you think? And that's how, like, Star Trek, or at least Star Trek used to be. The Orville does that now. Star Trek doesn't do shit anymore. Star Trek is full of a bunch of idiots who aren't informed about anything. Basically knee-jerky reactioning everything and pooching their way out of their series. Total, total reference if you, if you get it, if you've been watching my Star Trek Discovery videos. Hopefully you have. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. Yeah, she, she's a little ungrateful. She doesn't understand that other people have come before. And her trolls are terrible. Like the people who, who get out the social media, the chatterers, the fans, her genuine, legit fans who are there. Oh my God, you don't respect women. I don't. I don't. Okay, well, you know, or they're, they're like, oh my God, you're such a piece of shit. You're, you're a fat bitch. You're whatever, blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm supposed to respect women. What about you? You know, uh, you know oh, if you don't like it, this, it's just your opinion. Don't say, don't watch her. Don't do... Me? You don't like me? You don't have to watch me? Say, same type of thing. These people are so stupid. They don't actually think, you know. If they actually read what they wrote in comment sections on social media, sometimes, like, when, who, who, who does that? Who goes, gets on their high horse and, like, I'm going to leave you a nasty comment because I don't like what you said? I don't. I just don't watch the videos anymore. And it's kind of fascinating to me how many people still need to learn these things, still need to go through, and, and they can't just learn from watching somebody else. Everybody has to experience and make the same mistakes a thousand times over. It's, it's just fascinating. But I could have gone off on a few tangents on this video, but thank you so much for watching. I am Mega Random 42 uh, P.O. Box 1566, Loveland, Colorado, 805. Three, nine. Here, I'm going to go back to full screen Woot, so you can actually see that a little better. I'm going to be doing a live stream this weekend, either Saturday in the evening around when Midnight's Edge, I got I to gotta coordinate when uh, Midnight's Edge, we're going to be like dealing with some of, some of the, the Orville review over there and the Avengers for the After Dark show. Gonna try and stream around that for celebration of the GoFundMe being fully funded. Thank you guys so much. It is amazing. It is still up for a little bit. If you guys do want to still help out with like, you know, food, money, and shit like that, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't swear. But thank you so much. I do want to celebrate that. I'm so super grateful and appreciative. And I'm like, I'm just blown away from the bottom of my heart how generous you guys have been with that. 
like I, I was just joking before because I'm like really bad at like sentiment. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video or live stream. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.